everybody, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Kitty Cat Gaming. Today we're playing Contradiction, and it is another like video uh, game. <laughs> oh my god, this sounds a live action video game uh, where it's been like filmed like a movie, and then you get to like make decisions and like see how it affects the story. Um, and all I know is this is about like you're like trying to solve a mystery. My name is Jenks. Detective Inspector Frederick Jenks, and I've been assigned to a last-minute investigation into the death of Kate Vine, a Kid PhD Vine? student found drowned at midnight last Friday in a lake in the woods on the outskirts of the tiny village of Edenton. I have until first thing tomorrow morning to decide whether her death was a simple accident or whether this was murder. Oh. Kate Vine appeared to the world to be a bright, confident, fun-loving PhD student with oh, everything she's really to pretty. live for. However, a history of depression mm. and alcoholism revealed in her medical records suggests that in reality, she had become adept at hiding behind a mask. A lab report indicating a high level of alcohol in her blood, along with the late hour of her death and a lack of witnesses, makes a strong case that this was suicide. Oh, no. But the verdict overlooked some curious details. Why was her driving license found on the opposite side of the lake in which she drowned? Also, mm. there were traces of morphine in Kate's system. Where did she get it? Mm. Kate was known to be a free spirit with a nihilistic love of danger, which may, in part, have something to do with a business course called Atlas, which Kate had joined and which she had been attending on the night of her death. Based mm. in a large stately <laughs> home on the outskirts of the village, the exclusive Atlas is this run is so by much information to take in. Paul and Ryan Rand. Both you guys following this? Following Kate's death, but neither claimed to have seen Kate after the meeting, and both were understandably eager to distance themselves and Atlas from the tragedy. This Strange. isn't the first time that Atlas has been investigated. Atlas and their questionable methods, which many have suggested border mm. on mind control. Yeah, she Ryan may have killed herself. to Rebecca, landlady of Edenton's village pub, the George and Dragon. As yet, she hasn't been interviewed, though it's likely Kate visited the pub on more than one occasion. It's a cute one pub. One of Kate's friends was Emma Bowman, who lives at Eden Lodge on the road leading out of Edenton Village. Emma was also doing a PhD at the same university, but didn't attend Atlas. Interviewed after Kate's death, Emma seemed shocked and upset, insisting she hadn't seen Kate that night. However, it turned out her boyfriend had. Uh. Simon Thompson met Emma at university. After completing his degree around 18 months ago, he went to work at a shop in the neighboring village. He looks nice. He started at the Atlas course a few months ago. Simon oh. insisted that he didn't see Kate after the meeting, but the sergeant interviewing him noted he seemed oddly unmoved by her death, which makes him the first person I want to see tonight. Mm, it's everyone time for some answers. differently. All right, so we're going to go see her roommate. I hope you guys caught all that. That was a lot of information. Uh, so basically what we're doing is on Friday, it seems like a girl was found uh, drowned in a lake. And they said that it happened around 1 p.m., I think is what they were saying. Or was that like 11 p.m.? 23. So that is 12. All right. So yeah, that must be like 11 at night. My bad. I'm not really good at military time. Uh, so she was drowned around like 11 p.m. Uh, and nobody had known where she had been or why she died. I mean, obviously she drowned, but there was a lot of like, you know, suspicious stuff that had happened. Like her ID was on the other side of the lake where she had been drowned. And that night pre prior to being killed, she had gone to a seminar, I'm guessing, uh, that has been claimed to cause brainwashing in the participants. Um, so she went to that, and it looked like it was like a deep therapy thing, because uh, maybe she was trying to deal with her past suicide attempts and depression. Um, and the people who run the course said they uh, they didn't want really want anything to do with this. So now we're gonna go interview her roommate at the pub. I'm guessing. Uh, okay, so it says, Welcome to Edenton Village. Click the arrows to move around the village. If you see the magnifying glass, try your investigation button to see Jenks investigate. Oh, so we can go ahead to the pub, or we can go north lane, or go left down West Street. <laughs> Let's see, what do we got? 
Oh, uh, click the inventory icon, which I just clicked on, uh, to see your collected items, which include both physical objects and information Jenks has collected. If you think you are, uh, if you're at a location where you think you can use a physical item, try and use the item. I use the icon. Uh, so, Kate Vine, she died. Pictures, blah blah blah. Okay. So all we have right now is her driver's license. Click to try to use this. There's there's no use for Kate's lost driver's license here. Sorry. Um, yeah, and then we just see a picture of her. She cute. Uh, so let's see. This is where her body was found. This is where the class was. This is the pub that she normally goes to. This is where we're at right now. In Eden's Lodge, that's where they lived. So according to the night she died, she went down here to the pub, then she went all the way down here to Atlas, and then she got killed here? I don't know, that's weird. Alright, well let's go to the pub, because we're here first, and then we'll go and check out the roommate. Uh, we knocked and it's not open. Try again? Alright, forget it. Pub's not open yet. Uh, so we're right here. We want to go to the right to get to our apartment. So let's go there. Uh, okay, so... We're right here. This is us. If we just keep going right, we should hit it. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Uh, so let's go into Eden's Lodge. Wow, look at those shoes. Knock for Simon. Like this moody music. Is it Simon? Uh, yeah. Detective Inspector Jenks, I'm investigating an incident in the village. Could I come in and ask you a few questions, please? Um, yeah. Thank you. He looks like a vampire. Like a Lost Boys era vampire. <laughs> uh, we can just go through here if you want. Uh, Emma's working in the front room. Oh, wait, Emma. I thought that uh, was the name Inspector of the... Maybe this Jenks. is not her roommate. Jenks. What's all this about? There was a death in the village. Kate Vine, I believe you both knew her. Yeah. Do you need to speak to both of us? Uh, I'll just speak to Simon first, if that's okay. Do they all live together? Just come through. Is it okay in here? Oh, this will be fine, yeah. Do you want anything? Water? No, 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 I won't be long. Okay. <sighs> all right. Your first interview. First, pick an item you want to ask about. Click Ask to see Jenks ask about it. Uh, when you've heard the reply, you'll see a summary of what was said in the bottom of the box. Simon said blah blah blah. He also said blah blah. <laughs> okay. Uh, clicking any item you already asked about shows the summary of replies beneath. Now click any reply to add to the contradiction box on the right. You can add two replies at a time. Okay, interesting. You have to add it there, though? Okay. Now you can start looking for contradictions. Find two contradictory replies and add them to the contradiction box. If they go green, sit back and watch Jenks interrogate your interviewee. Okay. So let's ask. When was the last time you saw Kate Vine? Um, so last Friday's meeting, I think. Did you see her after the meeting? No. How long have you known Kate? That would be when we started Atlas, three months ago. Did you socialize outside Atlas? No. How would you describe her? Like, what sort of person was she? Well, she's talented. Uh, she was full of life, you know? Sharp, quite sharp. Would you say she had any emotional problems? She, mm -hmm. Her mood, her mood could change. And, well, there was the drinking problem. When did you become aware of that? Well, she would come drunk to a meeting sometimes. And she would reek of the stuff. I mean, everyone knew, but nobody really said anything. So, mm. tell me a bit about that. Troubled girl. It's just a business management training program for postgrads. And you started this after you left college? Uh, yeah. And it's on every Friday? Yeah, well, my group isn't doing it this Friday, but uh, one of the groups is. Okay. Thanks. 
Okay, so he last saw Kate at the Atlas meeting last Friday. He's only known her for three months, didn't socialize with Kate outside of Atlas, and Kate often seems drunk when she goes there. All right. Let's ask about the driver's license. Did you know whether Kate had lost this or not? No. No, I don't think so. I've never seen it before. All right. Well, I think that's all that we can ask about right now. Can we click on these to ask? No, no I guess not. All right, I guess let's Thank look you. at Emma. Probably be back later. Don't worry, it's only a few questions. He looks like Crocodile Dundee. Yeah. Okay, let's ask about Emma. When was the last time you saw Kate Vine? Sorry, Kate. It was <laughs> last Thursday in the college library. Um, I saw her and we chatted for a bit. She seemed her usual self. What was her usual self? Hmm. Oh, just Kate being Kate. You know, a bit wild. Wild? Wild. What way wild? Oh, she just used to question everything, you know. Have arguments with the lecturers, things like that. What else? Kate had a drink problem. How uh, noticeable was that? Well, it wasn't at first, but as the year went on, she'd be drunk in the afternoon. But I th think she cut down, you know, towards the end of college and when she started her PhD. Wow, she's a smart girl. Are you still I saw Kate in the college library? All right, this is about her driver's license. Did you know whether Kate had lost this or not? Um, I don't know, but I... I don't think so. Okay. Uh... I guess that's it. Ah, uh, that's all for the moment. Thank you. Best to knock on the window for Emma. Simon always answers the front door. Okay. So if we want to come back and question them separately, we can. So let's go back to the pub. And see if we can talk to the people at the pub now. Which way am I going? Uh, I guess straight. There we go. Okay. Anybody home? Not that. Not yet. Okay. Uh, I don't know what's down here, but we're gonna check it out. This place looks so nice. So charming. <laughs> I don't know where this is, but I like it. I'm guessing England somewhere. Uh, okay, so let's keep going left. Call the chief. Oh, was I supposed to wait and listen? I didn't hear anything. Yeah, there's nothing down here. Okay. I guess let's hang out where she died. See if we can find something there. Oh, let's go along this path. What's up here? Oh, shit. Okay. Go into the woods. All right, so this is about where her body was found. Wow. God, that's gorgeous. Uh, okay. Let's keep going. In the clearing. Maybe we'll find some clues. Am I supposed to be like clicking on something? Oh, I'm just going to. That was tips. Okay. So Eden Lodge is where we want to go. It's just said. But. Uh, let's. Should we go down to Atlas? No, let's go to Eden Lodge. It said to go to Eden Lodge. So let's go here and look around a little bit more. 
few more questions, if you don't mind. Ugh, there's nothing else to ask. Hmm. I guess try and see if this is a contradiction? No, because they said it would glow green. Back later on, if that's okay. Let's see. Last arcade at the Atlas meeting last Friday. I wonder for three months. Hmm. Yeah, I don't okay, know. I'm that's stuck. That's it for now. Thank you. I'm supposed to look around Edmonton Lodge more, though. Oh, what is that? Oh, that was uh, a quick thing. Questions, if you don't mind. No. Thank you. Probably be back later. All right. Well, I'm gonna take a look around and find out where we can go next. Um. I'm, oh, there's an investigation sign. Oh shit. Very trusting, leaving a bike unlocked. Looks like homebrew equipment. Ah, this might come in handy. Screwdriver? Why? What? Why are we taking it? Hmm. Alright. Well, next time on the next episode of Kitty Cat Gaming, uh, we're going to find out what's up with that screwdriver. Uh, please be sure to hit that subscribe button so you guys don't miss it, and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye, everybody!